Back now at 811 with a high school senior who has a lot of people talking about what it takes to get into college. We will speak with her in a moment. But first, her story. In an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, Susie Weiss voiced her disappointment. She writes, Colleges tell you just be yourself. That is great advice as long as yourself has nine extracurriculars, six leadership positions, three varsity sports, killer SAT scores, and two moms. Susie Weiss appeared perfect for the Ivy League. An impressive 4.5 GPA, excellent SAT scores, plus a stint as a U.S. Senate page. Still, she was rejected by Princeton, Yale, Penn, and Vanderbilt. Among the reasons Susie says she was rejected, quote, diversity. I offer about as much diversity as a saltine cracker. She writes, I also probably should have started a fake charity, collecting donations for the underprivileged chimpanzees of the Congo. She even blames her parents, writing, I noticed long ago that my parents gave up on parenting me. I've never sat down at a piano, never plucked a violin. Still, the competition is steep. Princeton accepted only 7% of its over 26,000 applicants this year. Just because you're an A student and have great test scores doesn't mean you're eligible for an Ivy League school. Some call Susie a truth teller. Others say she's entitled. To those of you disgusted by this, shocked that I take for granted the wonderful gifts I've been afforded, I say, shh, The Real Housewives is on. And Susie Weiss joins us now. Susie, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, thank that's one way to <laughs> blow off a little steam in an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, by the way. And also, thank you to the Wall Street Journal for printing my piece. Well, what were you hoping to accomplish? Well, it's a funny story, actually. The piece was written, I got rejected from a bunch of schools in one day. And like any teenager, I'm sure like millions of teenagers that day, I was crying to my mom. And she said, I cannot hear about this anymore. Just go talk to someone else. So I called my sister. And I was crying, but she was hysterically laughing, and she said, go write this down. Yeah. Uh, so I did, and this is what came out of it. Well, you know, you read the article, it's funny. You have a sharp tongue and a <laughs> sharp pen. To others, it sounded cynical. And you even acknowledge in the piece, you sound a little bitter. Are you? Am I bitter? Well, I don't know. I poured my whole life for, like, the past five years into these college applications. And... Yeah, I was attracted to the sexy Ivy League name. Um, but I think the overall point is that anyone can relate to this. It doesn't matter what your dream school is. And all the feedback I've gotten from kids my age is only positive. They're saying this is, you're speaking the truth. Yeah. Let me point out a couple of things that just popped off the page okay. to me. You wrote, had I known two years ago what I know now, I would have gladly worn a headdress to school. Show me to any closet, and I would have happily come out of it. They also say, I should have done what I knew was best. Go to Africa, scoop up some suffering child, take a few pictures, and write my essays about how spending that afternoon with Kinto changed my life. I mean, for one thing, some people read this and they say, mm -hmm. you are being very cavalier about the importance of diversity. City. Let's see. I make fun of two moms having killer SAT scores, the diversity. It's a satire. That's the point. Just like 30 Rock is a satire, which pokes fun at things that are politically correct. That's what I was trying to do. Um, diversity, I think, is a wonderful thing. I think it's great. I think all colleges should have a holistic approach to every college applicant. I do, however, think that in this day and age, we're being judged on things that we cannot control as opposed to things that we can't. Do you think some students who do this volunteer work during high school are insincere or have at least dual motives? I'm sure some of them are. I don't begrudge people who do volunteer work. I've done a ton of volunteer work. And let me tell you, it wasn't just to get into college. But I do think there's a lot of resume padding going on right now, which does, you know, just to get into these amazing schools. What has the response been? I, I know you've been accepted to schools, but have mm -hmm. you heard from any schools because of this op-ed? I have. The response has been mostly positive. I've gotten job offers, internship offers. It's been, I'm on the Today Show. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> well, actually, we asked our viewers what they thought. We put the op-ed online. 53% uh -huh. said it's a whiny one-woman pity party. 30% <laughs> said it accurately captures what college admissions officers expect these days. And 17% said they weren't sure whether to take it seriously or be appalled by it. So what do you say to those 53% who say, okay, you're blaming... Uh, others but not yourself i want to re did you call my grandparents because i don't <laughs> think you got them in there well where would they come down <laughs> yeah, they i think they would support me but um in response to that it was a joke it was a satire piece um everyone my age whether they wanted to get into penn state their whole lives or harvard um 
is agreeing with me that it's just a rat race nowadays, and it's such a business model as opposed to who's most qualified should get in, and it's a crapshoot, and I understand that. And you got into some great schools. I did get, you get in. I got into schools in the Big Ten, University of Michigan, Indiana, Penn State, and Wisconsin, all of which I'm ecstatic about. I couldn't be more happy. Have you decided where to go? You want to break a little news on the today's I have show not decided, but go blue. Uh, <laughs> I haven't decided yet. <laughs> all right, Susie Weiss, good luck to you. Thanks Thank so you much. so much nice for having me.